Alright everyone, welcome back to Building My Dream Zoo in Minecraft. So, I am super excited. Last time we were at the end and fought the Ender Dragon, and then I built the Moose Habitat. Although I did get a couple of Shulker Shells, um, I did not find a End City with Elytra. So I want to try to get that now. Um, so I got this box, it's like backup stuff or just extra supplies. Um, so that's going to be in there, and then I have my two other shulker boxes for extra storage for any loot that we get. Um, a couple potions, just in case I don't expect to need them. But basically, we are ready to go. So I'm going to head to the end now, and I will meet you there. Alright, so we are at a brand new end city here, and it does have a ship. You're going to have to trust me on that for now, because every time I try to look up at it, I end up seeing an enderman instead. Um, so I just don't want to risk that right now. I mean, they don't actually do that much damage, but it's just kind of annoying. But I'm gonna make my way up to it and kill the shulker boxes on the way, and I will meet you there. Alright, it's time. Let's hope I can make the shot. Oh, jeez. Alright. As long as I don't start floating over the void, I think we're going to be okay. We're just going to break in here. Oh, right. There it is. Finally. Okay, I'm gonna grab all this stuff and then I'm just gonna head home because I didn't bring any rockets here. And we have the teleporting map, so I don't really need it to get home. Woohoo! I honestly forgot how fun this is. Like, I knew that it was a good time, but like, come on, this is awesome. Although the problem is, is that I don't have a ton of gunpowder, so I'm thinking I might build a creeper farm soon. But either way, it's time to stop goofing around and we're going to work on something. Okay, so I decided that I really do want to start working on the creeper farm now. Um, so I'm just going to get it started here on this small island. I'm trying to use a couple of blocks that'll look nice because I think it'll be at least slightly visible. Um, but I don't want it to be something that we'll see all the time either. So hopefully it won't be noticeable too much. And I'm using a relatively simple design that I've kind of done before. It's uh, basically just a chain of observers with um, dispensers and water buckets. And then um, trap doors on the ceiling so that only creepers spawn in here. And I think spiders as well will spawn. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything to prevent that or not. But I'm going to get working on it and I will show you once I have more done. Oh yeah, and we are just going to use a simple hopper clock um, in order to time the water to have it... Um, flow and then retract so that the mobs can actually spawn. Although I really want to try to work on um, getting better at redstone, so I want to see if I might be able to make it so that the time that the mobs can spawn is longer than the time that the water is flowing, um, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that, so I'm going to try to figure it out. Hmm, this water is doing something weird that I know it didn't do when I built one that was similar to this. Um, but I have been doing this all based off of memory and just trying to figure it out. So I probably just uh, mess up something small that I need to fix, so I'll try to figure it out. So we're running low on marble, but I know that this cave over here has a whole bunch that I haven't mined up. But there's a lion that's been kind of trapped in there for ages, so I'm going to finally catch it. Yep, there she is. Honestly, I kind of feel bad having left her in here, but it was easier than trying to avoid her on the land all the time. But now she's safe, and we will have a lion habitat at some point. Alright, I'm back trying to figure out the timings for our hopper timer here. And apparently, if you have repeaters going into an observer, um, then it will double pulse. And so I'm trying to see if there's a way to use that in order to get, you know, one shortish pulse for the water to be released, and then a longer pulse that will allow um, there to be no water. So far, I haven't quite figured it out, because right now it's just a super quick pulse, which isn't what we need. Um, but I'm going to see if I can find a way. 
I always forget how much it actually takes to make a whole bunch of trap doors. Like, if you just make a few, it doesn't seem too bad, but trying to make, like, a hundred for my creeper farm, it's so much. But luckily, chopping trees is actually kind of relaxing for me. It's just not a very exciting part of the video, so I'm gonna cut ahead again. Alright, this thing is just about functional, and I'm trying not to spend too much time on it because it's not exactly a zoo thing, but it will make exploration so much easier, so that's why I think it's important. Um, but basically, there's a couple of things that I'll probably have to improve later, but right now I just need to finish the collection part, and then we can start testing it out. And basically all I'm going to do is send water from like the edge around the bottom, and send it towards the middle, and then drop the creepers down like 23 blocks or whatever so that they'll hit the ground and die. But I'll show you how that works once I get it done. This lion's been trapped under our creeper farm since before I started building it. And I kept forgetting to bring my stuff so we could actually get him out. But we are finally going to rescue him. Um, yeah, and I definitely did not light it up at all either, which is also why I haven't gone in there yet. But that takes care of the skeleton. And we've got the lion, so I think we're all good. And I'm going to grab this iguana too. We're not going to trap him either. And there we go. So we've got the spot where the creepers are going to land. Pretty simple, just hoppers with some slabs on top. And I could just make it go into a chest and be done with it, but I actually had an idea of lining the edge of our water with um, sugar cane, and that way this whole thing could just be basically a rocket farm in general. So we'll have the gunpowder and the paper being collected all in one spot. Um, because of that, I think I'm going to try to make just a simple item sorter here, so we'll have a chest for the sugarcane and one for the gunpowder, and then probably one more extra one because I think we're going to get spider spawns as well, um, so any of that stuff will fall in there too. This is all set up now, and I just need to make sure that I remember how to actually make the item filter. So let's see if this works here. It is taking the sugarcane, so we just have to hope that it's not going to take all of them. Let's see. Okay, yep, it stopped at 18. Perfect. So I do need to make this area look a little bit nicer, but other than that, everything is all ready to go. Well, I actually haven't built the sugarcane farm part of it, but I'll do that later. Oh yeah, time to fire it up. And I don't expect great rates or anything, but I think if I just leave it on while I'm in the area, it shouldn't cause lag and it should, you know, just get us gunpowder. I don't think I showed exactly what this looks like now that it's pretty much done. I put in some sugarcane, but it's not automated yet. And I do need to make the top a little bit bigger so that stuff spawns more during the day. Because right now it's just not quite dark enough. Oh yeah, and I didn't fix that weird water issue. I'm still looking into that. But I kind of just wanted to get the build done itself first. Alright, I needed a break from that, so time for some tool repair at my very crude Enderman farm here. I will build something better eventually, but I don't want to waste time on that right now. But we're definitely going to get tons of XP, it's tons and tons of Ender Pearls, and so we're going to be pretty set here. Turn you off. Okay, so I figured out what my problem was. Turns out that I kind of misremembered how this farm works. Everything is right, I just built it kind of upside down. So I'm going to need to rebuild this clock, and we're going to put it on top of the farm instead of on the bottom. And then all of the observers basically just need to be flipped so that they face um, the dispenser instead of the water. Uh, that's because apparently when it detects the water, it detects every single change from when it flows like a lot to a little to a little bit less, a little, you know, um, all the way to no water. So it detects like 10 different things all within like a second or two. So yeah, if I switch it around, then it will only detect when the bucket dispenses out of the dispenser. Um, and then it will just do it once, and then another time again when it's supposed to retract. There we go, one hopper clock rebuilt. And I didn't show it, but I actually rebuilt this thing already like four or five times at the bottom. I just kept having to move it around to try to get the redstone right, but obviously that never worked out. But the good news is now I build them really fast, so... Who's the real winner here? Anyway, let's see if this thing actually works for once. 
All right, it definitely dispensed those perfectly, so that's great. Um, hopefully then the retraction will also be good. And ignore how the top is very uneven right now. I ran out of slabs, so I'll get to that too. All right, so I managed to get a full stack of rockets here, and so we are off exploring now. So this is actually going to be a two-in-one type of trip. Of course, I'm always going to be on the lookout for new animal species that I want to find, um, but I'm also trying to see if I can find a swamp, um, because I still haven't been able to find any slime chunks around me, and so I really want to get some slimes. Now, it turns out that I actually found a lush swamp biome before. It's on my map, so that's where I'm heading now. But I don't actually know if um, slimes will spawn there, or if it's only in actual true swamps. But even if they don't, I'm gonna have a blast flying around. But I will let you know what I find. Oh, I think I should actually grab this guy too. Let me get out my nets here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't think I showed this on camera, but I renamed my shulker box that has all my nets and my tranquilizer gun. Um, I named it Animal Acquisition. I just kind of thought that was funny. Okay, so we are now on an island just on the edge of this lush swamp. I'm actually just kind of killing time until it's nighttime to see if we get any slimes around here. I lit up this island and I'm chopping down these trees just so we can have a better view. I'm not sure if anything will spawn on this island, but I feel like at least this will be a semi-safe area. And with the elytra, I'll be able to fly around and see if I can find any in that way too. Well, I've flown over a few times here and so far I haven't seen any slimes. Uh, that doesn't mean they can't spawn here or that I haven't missed them, um, because it is a little bit tough to fly and look around because you lose so much momentum. Um, but so far, absolutely no luck here. Whoa, what is this? Is that a meerkat? Sure looks like one. Oh no, please come out of the ground. Ooh, I can still catch him. Okay. Also, check out that roof snake over there. Jeez. I'm gonna take a minute to see if I can find more meerkats, though. They're so adorable. Oh, also, I'm on the lookout for a new swamp, um, but I kind of made a pit stop here at this village. Oh, you guys, we found a black panther, which actually those are not a real species, I know. I think it's a jaguar, possibly a leopard, this one, um, but it just happens when they are basically 100% spots instead of having like the brown parts. But I'm gonna see if I can catch them because I love these guys so much. Alright, awesome. So they were jaguars. And I think I saw a beaver across the river, and I think we need some of those too, so let's go check it out. Alright, I'm gonna try to ender pearl past these lions into that doorway. I messed it up once though. Perfect landing. Alright, hopefully there's none in here though. Looks pretty clear, so I'm gonna see what I can find. I always grab the TNT out of these every single time, but I don't remember the last time I actually used TNT for something. I feel like I need to change that, but in this world I'm not sure what I could do. Oh, always love getting the horse armor. Otherwise, though, nothing super special here. Well, looks like we're not going up that way. Not that I think I can make a one-by-one -one gap with the elytra anyway. I've actually seen these guys a couple times and never caught any. And I'm not quite sure what the species is either, so we're going to try to catch them. I 
I would guess that's pronounced Gower. I'm not really sure. I don't think I've heard of them. Although they do look like a species that I've seen before in real life, but I didn't know the name of them, so it could be that. Either way, I definitely want to learn more about these guys soon. This moose is so pretty. I just have to bring her home. Speaking of home, we're back at the zoo now. But I think this is going to be the end of this episode, unfortunately. But I have tons of animals to pick from to make a habitat for next time, so we are definitely going to do that. If you have a recommendation or one that you want to see next, please let me know. Otherwise, I think I might do meerkats. They're kind of standing out to me. Although, they might be difficult to make a habitat for. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the episode, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone. <laughs>